What if someone told you that in your brain is an organ not bigger than a pea that holds the potential to release the most potent, joyous drugs and unleash your potential to be 100% present, at peace, and focused all the time? We all want to be happy, and everything that we do in our lives is to receive a feeling. We actually pay a lot of money to receive a feeling. We want to buy a new car because we want to receive a feeling, but guess what happens? After you have that thing that you bought, you want the next thing. So it's the happiness that you want. What if you could feel that before you actually go and do something? Would you not want to do anything you could to fully activate it? We often search for new solutions for our new age problems, but sometimes the solutions lie in the old wisdom. Higher rates of depression, anxiety, lack of focus, a constant state of sadness, and detachment from the world are conditions that many of us face today. But like many things, our own body holds the solution for these problems. The negative emotions that we all feel are the result of chemical and hormonal imbalances in our brains and one small organ located right in the center of our brain's two hemispheres holds the key to release our infinite potential to better ourselves. That small, pea-sized organ is called the pineal gland. Scientific proof that's backing up that uh, spiritual enlightenment comes from our pineal gland, known as the third eye, and depicted as ancient as the seat of the soul. The pineal gland, it's located in the middle down here, and it correlates to what we call the third eye. You can't see the third eye, but it's what we call the sixth sense. That means that it's seeing beyond what the five senses see. This is a secret that they've known in ancient Egypt. They know it in the Vatican. You, everywhere you go in the Vatican, you see this. You remember that uh, image of uh, like a Buddha with the halo. There's always a halo around the Buddha said, or Jesus. People say there's a cross behind him in that halo, but it's the beams of light. It's exactly what you can learn or remember to activate. Many ancient esoteric traditions and mystical schools knew of the potential of the pineal. The ancient Greeks believed it to be our connection to the realms of thought. Buddhists know it as a symbol of spiritual awakening. In Hinduism, the pineal connects with the third eye chakra, the seat of intuition and clairvoyance. Jesus proclaimed that the eye is the lamp of the body, so then if your eye is clear, your whole body will be full of light. Scientifically, this secretory circumventricular organ is responsible to produce melatonin, a hormone that modulates our sleep pattern. But when worked correctly, the pineal gland could lead you to a gateway between your physical and spiritual self. In many ancient scriptures and cultures, there has always been a mention of the third eye. The spot right between our two eyes holds the power to visualize the divine and sacred. This whole thing about the pineal gland or the third eye is to show us that there's a law of surrender. I can't get to that space of the sixth sense if I don't surrender what I think I know, because that keeps me in a space that doesn't allow me to know anything else. But if I want to really know the truth, I have to be mindless and I have to be open to receive. And in that receiving space, I'm not looking at something the way I usually look at. I'm not looking at you through my five senses. I'm looking at you to know that you're part of me. From Indian scriptures to Western traditions, many sages and saints have talked about this doorway to the ultimate blissfulness. Many skeptics among us would feel this to be ancient jargon, but studies show that the pineal gland acts like a third eye. The scientific community has now established that just like our physical eyes, the pineal gland has crystal-like photoreceptors on them that absorb light and react to it. That is why tuning your sleep cycle with a natural sun pattern and staying away from bright lights after sundown elevates your mood and leads you to better overall health. So now that we know that melatonin regulates our sleep cycles and taking care of our photosensitive pineal gland will result in better health conditions, is that all our third eye is capable of? The answer is no. The pineal gland holds much more power than just regulating our sleep, and ancient cultures were always aware of what our modern science is beginning to understand. Modern science has now established that the calcite structures on the pineal gland contain piezoelectric properties. 
This, in simple terms, means when pressure is applied to these structures, they produce an electrical charge. If you have a little lighter and you hit the lighter and then you get that little spark that comes out, that's from a crystal being compressed. This property makes it an antenna of sorts for our brain to receive signals and adapt energy. Another property of these crystals is to act like a transducer, which means they can convert the energy received into another form. In its regular work form, the pineal gland receives the energies from our senses and transfers them into signals to our brain, guiding it to react accordingly. But once activated properly, it holds the power to connect with the energies of the universe around us. It can become the gateway between the earthly and the divine. The piezoelectric effect works with the tiny crystals surrounding the pineal gland surface through the push of energy. Piezochromism. Piezochromatic crystals are crystals that can release any color of light in the rainbow. In yogic practices, this effect is achieved through breathing and focus exercises that release the cerebrospinal fluid which is pushed against your pineal gland. The seventh chakra and the third eye, which results in the release of an electrical charge. This release of charge expands the calcite crystals around the pineal gland to their limit and then brings them back to their original size. This continuous cycle results in a constant electromagnetic field within our brains. This release and contraction of the electromagnetic field creates a pulsating effect within our mind and body, bringing us one step closer to unleashing our energies. Now operating within this pulsating electromagnetic field, the pineal gland releases upgraded metabolites of melatonin into the brain. As the pineal gland becomes more activated, the higher frequency energy produced in your brain conjoins all your seven energies and translates them to your brain with vivid imagery. It is when with time you reach this higher state of frequencies your pineal gland naturally starts to produce melatonin metabolites called benzodiazepines. These chemicals make your brain calmer, more aware, and at peace in all situations. It's important to note here that benzodiazepines are the same class of drugs that are used in antidepressants and anti-anxiety drugs. Dimethyltryptamine is the main chemical that seems to do this. When DMT is chipped out of a tray that it was synthesized in, you hit it with a screwdriver, bam, you get these big bursts of colored light. DMT is this, you know, dimethyltryptamine, it's what they, the theory is that it's what's released by the pineal gland that gives us these elevated states of insight. Maybe DMT is the lens of our pineal gland, uh, allowing us to see wider areas of reality than are normally accessible to our senses. The pineal gland is lined on the inside with tissue called pinealocytes. These pinealocytes are similar to the rods and cones in the retina of your eye. That's right, it's the third eye. Your brain has a third eye in the center. With each generation surpassing its predecessor in technological advancement, with our homes getting more comfortable, our cars becoming faster, our devices becoming efficient, and our world becoming virtual, we, in this world of external abundance, are forgetting about the wealth within. We are connected to the world virtually, relying on artificial signals, yet losing the connection with our own self. With modern medicine synthesizing drugs for our each and every problem, which further enables our dependence on drugs with massive side effects, we have stopped searching for the drugs within. But. If we are provided with the opportunity and knowledge to lead our small, pea-sized third eye to envision a state of mind that lets us connect to the colors we have never seen, the feelings we have never felt, and imagery we have never discovered, shouldn't we allow ourselves to go to that place? Don't we owe it to our true self to be released along with the higher state of our mind? which is connected to the frequencies of our world that will transcend us into a blissful, awakened, self-aware state, now is the time to see the world with a new eye, with a new third eye. Thanks for watching. And if you get value out of this video in any way, hit that like button for me, share it with a friend, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe.
Otherwise, keep an eye on it. Stay blessed.